Hello amigos, welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2! Quarter Strike Spark! <laughs> and now we're playing an awesome level, Night Fight. I love this level. I don't like it as much as the other um, Night Fight level. Um, I think it's called Totally Fly. Totally Fly! And yeah, I really like these type of levels. It's just like last time, you just gotta escort the navvies while well, they're kind of escorting you through the jungle. And the navvies give you light, let there be light. <laughs> and yeah, it's just similar to the last one, except there's a death route. Which is the reason I don't really like this one as much, because um, you need to backtrack through this death route. Like, um, you, you need to go. You need to get the gem by going through the normal way, then you backtrack half of it, and then um, you go round to the normal path, and then once you make it to the end of the normal path, you see the end split bit for this path, and so you have to backtrack through this death route. It's pretty annoying. So uh, that's the only reason why I don't like this one as much. But yeah, we got the gem there, and I just let myself get killed by that lizard. And yeah, we're gonna go through the normal part of the death route. It's just like the um, first one, except I don't like it as much. Yeah. <laughs> it's still good though. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got these little robots back again. They're not really that hard to dodge. Um, they're not really that hard um, to get hit by. They're pretty easy to dodge. You know, and just flying around there. Pattern's pretty easy to figure out. You know, and some of them just stand there. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see. Oh, gap. Yeah, this is the bonus route first. <laughs> but this one, um, the U, the the Navi doesn't actually follow you. You actually have to grab the navi, navi and he actually comes with you. And you have to try and make sure you can beat through the level pretty quickly. Now make sure you spin these boxes before you get a Navi, because otherwise it'll waste a lot of time. And you don't want that to happen. And that's no good. <laughs> yeah, just slide under the nitros, make deadly jumps, and there we go. We just beat the bonus level. That wasn't too hard. Music is really good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like these nighttime type levels. It's just really good the way it's done, and the level design is really good. And basically, you're screwed if you don't have like the light with you. Except here, because I just jump on all the scenery. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're the only two boxes in that part of the death route. So yeah, once you get those two boxes, just make it back through this way. It isn't completely annoying, which is why I still like this level, but I just don't like it as much as the other, um, other night level. The other night level is just a lot better. And, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, this level was, like, really good compared to the next level. I mean, really, really good. Because I don't like the next level. But there's Night Fight. Fun, simple, easy level. Not really easy, because, you know, it's got a bit of challenge, but it's still a fun level to play, nevertheless. But here we are at Pack Attack. And I like the level of this, the, uh, the name of this level. I actually think it's pretty funny. Well, I mean, pretty punny. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, for those of you who haven't played the game and just don't know about it, it's um, a pun of a Pac-Man game called Pack Attack. And yeah, it's, that's pretty cool. Noi Dog make, like, every, yeah, probably every level, if not, like, nearly every level, is a pun in the Crash series. Except for Crash 1. Because Crash 1, they actually had proper names. <laughs> like Insanity Beach, and The Great Hall, and Slippery Climb, you know. They're all like based on the actual level. Well, they, they are based on the level in this game. It's just the fact that in this game, 
they're more or less puns. And they're so punny. <laughs> yeah, there's another space level. And that moon in the background, it... Th okay. The Insomniac logo. If you look at one of the earlier stages of the logo, the moon will look exactly like that moon. It's probably the, the logo from the Spyro series, the first Spyro series, the first three. Um, it'll probably... Yeah, it's, I think it's that one. But um, the moon looks exactly like that. It's like Insomniac just ripped the, the, the moon right out of this game and put it next to the word Insomniac and called that a logo. <laughs> I like the Insomniac logo, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying, it look, they, it looks like they just ripped it right out, you know, and they're in Ratchet and Clank, they, um, I believe they changed the logo of the moon, so it's blue or something, I'm not sure, but, uh, it is different in that game, I know that, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, um, Pack Attack, and it's, a lot worse than the last jetpack level. It's obviously going to be harder, you know. Like, I'm not going to lie about that. I don't mind it being a bit harder. It's just the fact that I don't like the controls for these levels. I mean, if right now I make it look like it's easy, no problem. Though I am, like, getting annoyed at the controls. Like, when I'm holding a controller and in my brain I'm thinking that. But, yeah, uh, it just, it, it looks easy and it looks fun to play. But, um... When, when you're actually playing it, you just want to get it over with, you know? Mm. So, it, some games are like that, to be honest. Or some levels are like that. And I, I don't mean um, in the Crash series, I mean just in any game in general. Like, not every game, just some. And I could probably say a few, but I can't bother. <laughs> But yeah, we finally beat the, the pack levels, jetpack levels, and we're gonna get this gem, and we're gonna go out doing the happy dance of happiness. Oh yeah! Da -ba -da! <laughs> but yeah, we finally lead it to jetpack levels, and I'm so happy that I can sing happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Yeah, we did that. And now we're in Spaced Out. And Spaced Out is a pretty fun level. And it's kind of has a referral. Oh my god, it's Cortex face. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Cortex. But um, it's kind of got like a little reference to um, the Great Hall. And uh, Crash 3 does this as well. And um, I can't remember if any other Crash games do it. Um, yeah, there's a gem. We're going to do this little route first, and then we're going to kill ourselves and uh, go back to the beginning. Because you only go for this route to get a GM and extra lives. But we're not going to need the extra lives. But still, it's fun. Uh, yeah, basically, every time you get to the end of each section, a new gem appears, and they're all the coloured gems. And it's basically referring to the, la well, the, um, the Great Hall from Crash 1, because there is a load of gems that you have to travel on. Kind of like the Great Hall we do. <laughs> so, yeah, th this time you've got obstacles to dodge and it's a little more harder. Which is good. Because the Great Hall is pretty boring. <laughs> I mean, it was cool, you know. you got, like, all these paintings and stuff. But here you've got Neo Cortex's face. And you've got, like, ends everywhere, you know. It's awesome. You know. Who doesn't like it when a great scientist puts his face over everything? It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, you know. I like it when the um, doctors do that. Well, yeah, but it's mainly the doctors that do that in video games. Well, Larry, if I could think hard enough, I could probably think of others. Yeah, Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, basically the villains. <laughs> but, yeah, there's our gem, and now we're not going to go to the warp. We're going to go to the main part of the level. But, um,. Yeah, as we, as you all know, there's one crystal and one gem left in the game, and you, um, if you get a hundred percent, yeah, like everything in the game, obviously, yeah, and then you go to um, the very last section of the game, which is the last boss, yeah, um, 
it won't actually say you've got 100 percent it will say you have 99 percent and but um basically you can just get 100 percent even though it says 99 percent and sorry about that i just lagged out there <laughs> but um you basically once um once you beat the normal mode of the game the original mode you um it, then it gives you 100 percent and instead of going back to the title screen it um takes you to the alternate ending because just like crash one there's alternate endings who would have knew but yeah so you can just get every gem in the game the first run for you know it's it won't it won't like make you do the hundred percent ending right away you know which is pretty good yeah this section is pretty annoying you got all these electric -y duties <laughs> and um uh, there's drones and you try and hit them and sometimes you spin and slide them and you'll go right into the nitro explosion and yeah <laughs> it's pretty difficult quite challenging and these guys if you fuck up once they'll push you into the nitros and that's no good <laughs> Yeah. So as you know, like I said earlier, we're right near the end of the game. This is actually the ver very last level in the game. And this is the very last bonus level of the game. So you're going to have to let those big words at the top bonus, those big flashing words, sink into your head. And you'll have to remember them. Like the good bonus text they are. Although we'll be seeing them in the future, we want to remember their appearance in Crash 2. Because it meant a lot. Yeah, and in case you can notice there, you have to um, quickly jump on top of all the boxes, otherwise you wouldn't be able to make it past them. Well, you wouldn't be able to break them anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, these boxes, they take 9 hits, well, 9 jumps, and then they're gone for. The reason I destroyed the platforms at the top first is because... I don't like bouncing in between them, like a double bounce thing, while you're on top of a pit, because I feel that it's gonna quickly like do it so fast that Crash is gonna fall through the floor after breaking the last box, and I don't like that. So I just make sure that that um, the top boxes are broken by the spin attack. So yeah. <laughs> I like that little, I like the electric stack noise so you can hear sometimes during the music. It's pretty good. Yeah, this guy here is pretty annoying. Because you can only slide these guys if you crawl into them, you'll die, obviously. And yeah, it's pretty annoying. And some of the, sl 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 yeah, the sections that you crawl under can be annoying. So yeah. There's our last crystal in the game. Oh yeah. Oh, 25 crystals. I'm falling! <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, we've got every crystal in the game now. And we've got every gem. Now, how amazing is that? Now we're going to be sent back to the warp room. Where we're going to be like, Dab it, da! I've got a crystal. Da ba da da! <laughs> And we got all the gems. Yeah. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, 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 joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Let's talk to an asshole. <laughs> yes. My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine? What's happening? What's that? Is he stealing our signal? Crash! Cortex isn't going to use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's going to harness the force and use it to power the super cortex vortex he has built on his space station. One blast of the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slave. Crash! Don't let him drop those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Ah, yes. We're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash. 
Bring me crystals! Whoa, shit. We shouldn't have got those crystals. Cortex has got them. No, don't jump for joy. <laughs> yeah, Cortex has got them, and that's not good. Oh, dear. But, um... Yeah, we're going to have to try and get those crystals back. Because it's got all 25 crystals. And... The Master Crystal. So... Yeah, we don't want him to fire the laser beam, so we're going to have to... Stop him on his way back to the Cortex Vortex. As you can see right in front of you is his space station and the locations of um, all the places, all the levels. None of them are located in um, Crash 1's islands. They're all in the space station. So yeah, that's something pretty cool to see. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the final part of Crash Bandicoot 2. See you then.